So, Ramadan is almost over. And what I want to share is something that I just thought of and what I'm going to continue to do after Ramadan, God willing. Which is not weaponize the Quran. So what do I mean? What does weaponizing the Quran mean? Using the Quran to prove a belief that I have. And using the Quran as a weapon is usually between Muslims. Because Muslims believe that the Quran is their holy book. So it doesn't really make sense to use the Quran to prove a point with a Christian, for example, because the Christian doesn't believe in the Quran. And I'm going to try to stop weaponizing the Quran. And I just thought of this. Ramadan is almost over. And I realize Muslims disagree on when Ramadan ends. And I don't even want to get in those weeds. And it made me think, man, this whole Ramadan goes like it goes. And at the very end, Muslims disagree. And it's nothing wrong with disagreeing. But when that disagreement goes into the Islamic community's psyche, then there develops this contentious mindset right after Ramadan. There's this energy that is this feeling of Muslims don't have unity. And that's just life. There's 1.8 billion Muslims. Muslims are not going to agree. It's just the way the world works. But when I realized, man, Muslims don't even agree when Ramadan ends, meaning Muslims start off in this disagreement and then it can go into each Muslim's psyche where they feel, no, I'm right. And they want to defend their position. I want to hover outside of that. I don't want to be part of that contentious mindset. And I thought, how does that happen? And I just came to the conclusion, stop weaponizing the Quran. Begin there. And I am guilty of weaponizing the Quran. Using one verse to debate another Muslim. And it was just this feeling of, I'm right, you're wrong. And I've already been unraveling that for a few years. But I used to be that Muslim who debated other Muslims. And I used to be that um, 
Muslim who used to used to debate Christians until I realized I was debating Christians because I was debating myself and then I matured and for me stop doing it I had no desire to do it and in regards to debating other Muslims I'm leaving that too and it's already been happening for a few years and I'm starting to get into habits that allow me to not debate other Muslims. Get out of the mindset of debating and get into the mindset of dialogue. And this comes from going back to school because I'm in a program that's teaching me about interfaith dialogue. In other words, how to talk to a Christian if you're Muslim and how to talk to a Muslim if you're a Christian and so on and so forth and learning this made me realize man there's intra-faith dialogue Muslims disagree and boom they want to fight and I don't want to fight anymore that's what I am taking away from this Ramadan so I'm going to stop weaponizing the Quran and the reason that I probably want to do this is because when I first became a Muslim and this is a long time ago actually before I became a Muslim technically I was always under the impression told that the Quran is not used in the way Christians use the Bible. This is what I was taught. I'm not saying that's right. I'm not saying that's wrong. It's just what I was taught. So this was probably 90, 91. Might have been earlier. But I was taught that the Quran is used as a, I don't know what word, a tool to enhance your prayer. Or just reading the Quran in Arabic is like this meditative state. And I was taught Again, I'm not saying this is right. I'm not saying this is wrong. I'm just saying what I was taught is you don't read one verse to debate somebody with it. That's what I was taught. It was this book that you used as a prayer tool and that's just a description because I can't think of another way to put it but of course right when I was taught that in the Islamic communities that I was a part of people were using the Quran to correct me and Hadith and what scholar Joe Blow says. And naturally, I went into this defensive mode and I started doing the same thing in order to defend myself. And that lasted a long time, over a decade. And I'm not saying that was wrong for me to do because that was my path. It allowed me to learn the Quran. It allowed me to learn who I am. But it's over. 
I learned what I had to learn and I just want to experience God and this is 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 a very important step for me because I have been maturing as a Muslim 10 years ago I would have never thought of this idea because I was defining who I was as a Muslim by debating other Muslims and using the Quran not like I was taught to use it which is in this way of meditating on the Arabic the Quranic Arabic if you recite a Quran verse, for example, it puts you in this meditative state, or can. And that's how I was taught to use it. So over 20 years ago, I'm going back to, man, I get it. But I was immature, because although I understood it then, people were not using it like I was taught, and I thought, oh yeah? Proverbs such and such says this. And now, over 20 years later, everyone is still fighting. <laughs> what? Everyone is still fighting no matter what. You're still fighting. And I want to hover outside of that contentious mindset that's in the Islamic community. And that's just an observation, but it's a truth because I was part of that contentious mindset. And I don't want to be part of that contentious mindset anymore. So what I'm going to do, God willing, is not use the Quran as a weapon. And go back to how I was taught to use it over 20 years ago. And just strengthen my connection with God on a personal one-on-one -on -one level. Again, I have already been going this way for a few years. But now, after this Ramadan, I thought, man, I'm going to do this in order to keep on going in that direction. Now, I'll have discussions with people, but it's going to be a dialogue. And I'm not going to use a Quran verse to prove a point because I know, been around long enough, I'm old, that that same Quran verse can be interpreted differently. No matter how right you think that Quran verse is, people have a whole different context. And they interpret it differently. It's just the way things work. So that's what I learned this Ramadan and what I'm going to try to do. So I'm going to go work out, got a haircut, shaved. Makes me look older. See my hair? So, anyways, I wanted it longer, but the lady was like, This is going to look nice. I was like, Alright, do what you can do. Go for it. I said, I trust you. And then she cut off too much. I'm like, What? I don't care. Grows back crows back anyways i just thought i would share that hopefully it helps someone and if it doesn't help then that is something you take away from the video as in man that guy charlie ain't helped me anyways we'll go work out peace and love